down that they've been talking about these past weeks to be able to get those rounds on 100 Thieves who are coming in hungry today. And I think a lot of heavy, uh, for a lot, the heavy favorites on this series. So we get started, 100 Thieves on defense. Energy will start on attack. And quick ramp play here Ooh. just to make 100 Thieves move off their first lines. As mid gets pushed, Spike focus is towards mail right now. There's already some pop shots. Ethan's low on HP. Now Bang's being contested, forced to fall back, and already waste one of his snake bites at the top of the mail. Paranoia comes out on the attack, fully blinds EU, forced to fall back with Austin as well. Map being gained on the A Heaven side with Pink Shell's pushing through for energy. And let's say 100 Thieves, they have to submit that A Heaven and play a little bit more further back towards the A site. Oh man. Bustio was basically trapped right now. The team's still trying to lurk about and keep the initial hit from coming in. It's too quick by 100 Thieves. They get pinched as they try to push into heaven. Yeah, it looks like Ethan, the IGL is able to score first for the attacks out of energy. Bustio trying to hold the elbow. Now getting pressure by three players. A 1v1 towards the back of screens. Awesome is going to win it. Now a three versus three, Plank coming down for the heaven side. Ethan watches the cross as Asuna gets blasted. And there's only two left now for 100 Thieves. Bang and Cryo working in tandem. Bang gets a nice headshot right next to the defenders here of the Pulse Plant of Energy. The isolated. One by the smoke, Cryo catches Ethan off guard. Marv now alone on a one versus two. Playing the time in his favor. 100 Thieves players are low on HP. Tap on that spike first. Both of them are trying to look inside that smoke. Forced to reload. Top with no bullets. Quail gets the kill. And 100 Thieves get the point. And losing EU first. So converting the 4v5 on pistol to get themselves in for the win. And fans, we saw that basically yesterday between Sen and Furia. Furia took heaven. And then you somewhat put the onus on the defensive team to make the next move. Sentinels, we did not see make a move. They didn't push. They made Furia move. There, Energy did get the first jump. kill. As 100 Thieves wanted to figure out what's going on. They didn't know if they stayed heaven or went ropes so that that quick play to stalling out the map and seeing if your opponent will make a mistake energy tries to flex on that the first round but 100 thieves do recover which is the big point defuse on the post plant and they'll still set up in somewhat the same defense here a different look though for energy here on round two a few of those sheriffs as we would expect if energy can combine a few of those together and get themselves a weapon It'll, it'll be an even longer round. They'll continue to work the map. They'll work it out well. There's one of them. With that plan, the share is getting the first blood here towards Mel. And interesting, too, that the shares that you have in hand, it's not in the hands of Demon 1. That's He's still point. trying to create a diversion here towards his A side. An opportunity to clear space now towards B Heaven, maybe even rotate and pinch yeah, back towards the A site. So all this for energy, they're just working it slow until Ooh. Demon 1 just lost that against the IGL of 100 Thieves. So Bustio scores that point and still anchors the A site. They're realizing Heaven might not have the coverage they want for just now. But the play is towards B. The heavy sight so far for 100 Thieves, and they delay a little bit more. Saw two players there in the POV of Asuna. Satchel's pushing back, and looks like Energy are yeah. choosing to push towards the spawn, and EU's not really watching it yet. Yet Energy are trying to pinch back towards this B site. Cry holding all the way back here towards the B. Just trying to play a safe angle. Oh, that smoke's gonna isolate both players inside 100 Thieves. An opportunity to open it up. And there's that second sheriff kill. Now for Ethan, sight opened up as Crashy's answers on to Cryo Cells. And the plant is for B main. Like I said, it'd be slow. As soon as I got that first weapon, they start to work the map a little bit more right onto the defensive side of the map to get those first few and really throw 100 Thieves off. And this looks like they're gonna be able to collect on a second round too and snuff mom uh, momentum. 100 Thieves, and I think at this era of the game, that's a huge play to be able to stall the momentum here after pistol round, yeah. especially between these two teams. Towards Spike, that wingman defuse will give him a little bit of an advantage, but it's gonna be tough. Yeah, the objective there for Ethan. Sacrifice your life at least just to take down the wingman. Still wins that fight against you no matter what though, so he gets the job done. Starting to activate already Ooh. in the first few rounds is the IGL of energy. So getting caught off on timing there, we saw it was Bang that kind of got st stuck with Util out, got force flashed, pushed by energy quick up mid. Maybe uh, 100 Thieves was thinking energy would take a beat and just take it slower for that second round here. Busio trying to recover a bit. And yeah, I think if energy have that time to creep around, do what they need to, they just slowly close in on you. Hey, yo! Do it! 
it, bro. Like, let's do this <laughs> One IGL to the other. That's got to feel good, right? <laughs> That's got to feel really good to be able to take that away from Bustio on second round. <laughs> now the momentum here, the weapons for NRG in a very good position to carry a few rounds. And they go back to a bit of the A strat with a heavy lurk towards the left side of the map. Seems like Heaven is a big control for them so far. Yeah. Having Heaven just pressuring 100 Thieves with the weight of it. For 100 Thieves are just trying to make sure that there's no way of pivoting back towards middle. Wait a minute. Nice double swing uh. there as EU collects that kill onto Victor. Yeah. <laughs> These uh, first round interactions are pretty interesting so far in the rounds. For that to happen, Poison EU off. grabs it. They'll be able to pick up the weapon, maybe? Yeah, if it didn't go to anybody else. And they're lurk, they're anchoring Cryo in sight. Cryo hasn't moved on any of these rounds, yeah. basically. So he's always had a read on B main, figuring out what the lurks might be. There's a quick clean up in mid there. Being a little impatient too, as you saw their early rotate from 100 Thieves from A to B. So who's just trying to get information down that lower middle where they had control in the beginning. There's the activation now for energy towards left. his B site. Just around the corner, Asuna just waiting for that right click. Goes in for the kill. A two instantly fall now for 100 Thieves. Mark getting another one onto the balcony. And that's not going to allow here yet for 100 Thieves to potentially get this eco. Oh gosh. But it got dangerous. Uh, energy will take the round, but 100 Thieves will definitely take three classic kills on that, too. Getting a bit of those weapons and armor away, trying to kill that momentum of energy here. So now we're going to be into a gun round to see what hundred thieves can do they do want to stop this push towards heaven from what we've seen so far maybe they're a little bit more lax on doing it with pistols there but they got right up in energy's face when they approach the top side of that ramp so under thieves they're not playing back they're pretty much right up front we already saw boostio get that kill as well on to demon one in the previous round and we get a little double duelist action going on vans right to a yeah Towards A, the TP is up towards Heaven. Beautiful move by Ethan, a first blood for energy. And they immediately take control of A Heaven. Now this is gonna be difficult for the last two players inside the A site, but EU still benches to score one shot, walks inside the spoke, Mark trades it out, walks in for a second one, and A site is up for grabs for energy to plant. Oh my god, energy is like four steps ahead in every play. 100 Thieves was trying to aim at the situations, and energy was already rolling through. Just these two members to come in here. Yeah, what an opening by Ethan there. Completely switching up 100 Thieves in Heaven. And they're conditioning this Heaven. We'll keep, keep an eye on that to see how much they are blast packing Demon 1 and Victor up ramp. And maybe in a few rounds, it'll just be Demon 1 or just Victor. And then you have another play on the other side of the map. You actually bring up a great point, too, because that, that round was actually even none of the duelists. And it was a TP from Ethan to get in behind enemy lines. Well, you have that pressure from the dashes on yeah. the A ramp. And it seems like 100 Thieves were not ready for that at all, especially when that window of the A Heaven was never smoked out. It kind of caught off guard there, been caught off guard. And that might force them to play a little bit more passively towards the backside of Heaven, which gives more space for energy to work with. So slowly but surely, energy is falling into the type of play style that energy wants them to play into to yeah. capitalize this map on split. All right, so what do they have next? Uh, going up close real fast won't be as easy doing something like this. They're going to have to deal with Thrash. Bustio may retaliate very quick. So we're playing insane, bro. Yeah, we're playing very good, guys. Keep it up. Anyone have funds to spare? This looks like another day on the job right now for NRG. They are calm, cool, collected, bringing these rounds in swiftly after that first post plant retrieval from 100 Thieves. Slam on to B. Not even that far, actually. Victor keeps it close just so they look for somebody pressuring that early part of B main. And they have no read on the map. So this is actually how energy is going to retake, use their util, and get back into position. With an eco, it could be very tricky for 100 deep. So again, slow round. Info. Ethan's using all this to stay quite structured, and then you sometimes see that mid-round explosion. Looks like it was an audible call by Ethan, too, because earlier mm -hmm. on you had Marv getting ready for a lineup to smoke Boys up towards enough. the B-Heaven window, but then decide to turn around and work together back towards the A-Site. Though, the spike's still down here yeah. towards the spot on B. That's pretty far back at this point, and they're they're doing some good commitment here. No matter what, though, it's okay that the spike's there. Oh, yeah. It does have they the ult. over. Exactly, so they could still work the map. They're keeping 100 Thieves really activated around, and while you're rotating really quickly, look at these four positions that you have from energy. They could start hearing potentially these footsteps I that are coming the through towards the spawn. Hold out. Hello. 
There's gonna be a paranoia heaven. No, just the smoke. They actually enter together. Left. This is gonna be big here for Marv. If he can make the play, if he can get the info to stick the defense. It's a one for one though, and Marv has actually stuck through. Try to get the shot and lands it, but Krell's just around the corner. Three on three now, action towards the A side. The pivot went towards that side. 14 seconds left. Crashy's trying to get the knife fall out, but then gets caught there by Ethan. Crown out at disadvantage all the way back towards the attacker spawn, and it's gonna be a long rotate across. And at this rate, might even get heard here if we stay towards the A ramp. Especially now that they're not getting deafened by the nightfall anymore. Instantly they turn around. Ethan's ready for a first contact and Crashies gets the kill. Jeez. Nice little play by Energy towards the end to really work the map fully in their favor. And so that was a lower buy from 100 Thieves. Energy playing it slow. We'll see if they go back to a fast round here. Any rounds where you can consider Energy would be kind of going at the throat of 100 Thieves, going at the economy, trying to stop alt rounds, getting there before 100 Thieves can make a move. Last round. If 100 Thieves has pistols, they might have judges. Energy plays it slow. They play it right down to the last second of the round, where you'd basically have a team anchoring deeper towards the defensive side of sight. So any advantage right now, Eden back in. And look at what Energy, remember what we said they were doing? They're going towards ramp. They're playing a little pressure. Well, we have two of those members towards the right side now for Energy. Ones that could make it maybe seem like it's an actual hit on the site in Rays and Sky. With the spike is left side of the map. Does 100 Thieves read this well? The first time we're really getting the B main pressure out of them. And yeah, now it's the solo ramp take as they macro the rest of the map. And look at all that util. Oh, so much util pulls the A side, but that's going to be ready. here by Crashies. So now we tempo four energy towards this B side, but the stars are being placed. Kraus just ready to delay it as much as he could. He does have a suck and a stun ready. While well, the smokes are down, if there was that pressure coming through from energy, but it looks like yep. it's a pump to the brakes. And a rework the map now for the attack side. And now this is very, obviously energy is 4v5, but they have to come up with a new strat, especially with Bustio seeing that, okay, that was a fake. I see what Ethan's trying to do now. We need to play a little bit safer here. They're trying to do some tricky stuff. So after that timeout, yeah. Things are starting to change a little bit and they have to play inside each other's heads. Mailroom about to be hit with Seekers and this paranoia could cause problems. Double flash on top of that. Dropping towards Hell is Bang. Has support from Asuna. Oh but my Demon gosh. One is opening up the site. There's that third, but Crow gets three as he what? turns around head on a swivel. Looking for that fourth. And there you go. Right side to Crashies. The solo anchor play from Quarrelcell steps up. Hasn't left the site basically until the spike is planted at A, and there's a reason that pillar, such a strong position for Cryo to hit on the mark and really hasn't been getting too much that would bring him off uh, like a cold setting right now. But put four in front of him and he heats up immediately. No problem for Cryo there. And what a take though. Energy with a really nice set play here to break into the site, and you did not expect the 4K. But I guess you do when it's cryo. <laughs> Especially all, all those flashes were focused towards the B heaven. That's true. And he just used the flash. But let's hold that thought. Ooh. We have a double dive going in now for energy to take control towards the top of middle. But lots of utils being expended at the beginning as Demon 1 greets Bang with daggers in the chest. And that's a player advantage for energy. My God, they just blitz towards mid. Not even a chance if somebody would be there. And you even see Demon 1 landing on the box, playing elevation, the little crosshair breaks that they have and an instant right click as they enter bang in this rope room. Oh, almost a peak. EU's playing it safe though. They don't want to give up too much. is showing his hair. Yeah, what a window. Hey, Just missed boy. too. Focus still towards B. Good info so far grabbed here by energy as they slowly move around the map. And again, drawing the time down to hopefully get 100 Thieves in a bad spot. I love this though. Cryocell is just not afraid. Wants to fight for position outside of Energy's util. Mar falls. Even Tally as a rotate comes out for Energy back towards the A site. The ropes will be heard now from EU who holds back towards the screen. We're going back and forth to make sure that everybody's topped up before we can execute towards this A site. But again, another stop in the plays here for Energy. Where Asuna is going to have to be the point of contention now on the top of B having contested. He only gets one. Showstopper now out for Victor. Clearing out the back of the site should be an instant kill. Yep. And an opportunity to plant. 10, 10 seconds left. left. Any util to stall, nothing coming through. Just the haunt to get information for EU and a C's now being thrown on the ground. No util for Bustio either, no. so they have to wait out the smoke. 
But energy players are low here. Just the lineup, just the spray. Slow clears. Nice. Busio with the first shot, and Victor is going to use that bait as the off angle play. And Busio seems like he has an inkling. Slowly clearing out the corners, but that clock is not in the favor now of 100 Thieves. There is that first contact bait from Ethan. And there's oh shot from gosh. Busio. Everybody's turning around now for 100 Thieves. That is huge. I had Cryo's round just previously, I think, put a lot of life in what 100 Thieves are trying to do here. Confidence there on the take. Slowly but surely, a 3K now from Bustio. Just seven across two members from the team in the last two rounds. That's crazy. They are starting to feel the multi-kills, but will it take the multi-kills? Is it going to require this? Are they going to be able to stop NRG from starting these 4v5 conversions right away? And that is another one. 100 Thieves won from a man down. So they have what it takes. It's just can they keep it rolling? You would think that a solo anchor play getting multi-kills like that is not going <laughs> to happen every single round, but it just did two rounds in a row now for 100 Thieves. And energy to still keep one at test. This B side, double satchels and crown with the save. As Asuna has the other satchel back. So first blood now in favor of the Thieves on the defense. Snake by now pushing Cry away. And the wall banks and sprays are not connecting. So you'll stay alive and you're pushing them back. Because you have a smoke up now for 100 Thieves. To just stop that aggression from energy. Really nicely done. Just the way they're predicting, setting up. That was the same protocol they've been playing towards B main. But with Cryo ready just above in the high low, they're able to stop the push. So having little answers for energy starts where energy will have the main control insert someone and leave while well, nobody's inserted this time so again ethan has to call a strat and <laughs> vans these have worked just about every round they go down they find a way through someone pierces the defense and then 100 Thieves loses an important member on that defensive side. A main being taken, and Bustio is going to hit first. Yeah, because once again, you have the call here for Demon 1 to lurk around towards the middle to try to create an opening on that side, and they don't have that dive to create the space towards yeah. A. So Bustio gets an easy kill from the elbow. Number is dwindling down left. here for, 100, uh, for energy, rather, as they're currently behind by one player. Committed now with 23 seconds left towards this A-side. Big paranoia. Wingmen to answer back, just trying to stay alive for a bit. Oh, he's not playing anymore. Oh, the dig through the wall, but Demon 1 gets that pick. 14 seconds now left. Spike has to be picked up by Marv now, as the smoke allows for him to cross over, and left. all the players of the Thieves are moving out towards the screen to just flood back in that area. As crowd on the top of heaven, there's a satchel towards the air. There's only one left in the oh, back, and gosh. he's stopped by Asuna. Picking our energy apart on the way in. So many left here for the retake. So much confidence. They fly through. 100 Thieves hitting a bit of that momentum stride now. And it is showing. After the second round, they had to do some thinking. Of what's it going to take of the few rounds to get back at energy's economy and figure out how Ethan is trying to condition a few of these rounds? We saw the fight towards Ramp. 100 Thieves brought it to energy right away on the one round that they wanted to try and fake Ramps. We saw him bring it to B main there where they're set up for a quick hit by attention grabbing to Victor here so he can say, hey, look at me, I'm raised. You gotta be worried. But how worried is 100 Thieves is the question. Are they buying these strats now that don't have really the full force of energy's hit? It seems like they're still holding their spots and comfortable calling the bluff. And also good util for 100 to use yeah. on the defensive side just to control that orb. So that's a showstopper at the ready for 100 these Three alts now under the belt on the defensive sign. While now the initiator, instead of supporting Victor, who's trying to make the play alone here towards the ramp. Right there. Is trying to support Demon 1, who's now made it behind enemy lines, walking up the ropes, and Asuna was ready for that one as well. And that will foil any plan that Energy had again on trying to pincer against 100 these in the early round. I think that's a big uh, alert call. You see Victor alone, Demon One's on some kind of excursion. He's, where'd he go? Where, okay, he's roped. You know, he's trying to get some type of entry because the team is okay working with this pack of three. You have Crashies, Ethan can Paranoia. They still have a bit of a double flash work and then Marv making things happen. He has to become the lurk now though to make sure they are not flanked too hard. They're going to hear the thrash coming out now from the balcony. That's Marv holding inside the fence. That's going to hear this coming mm -hmm. through. So he's trying to find that timing. Left. And as they're chasing after that thrash, that's an opening for energy to just sneak once again behind enemy lines. Asuna just waiting to time out. I mean, there's 18 seconds left. He's got that showstopper we mentioned before. And now 
You just heard that TP across here from Ethan. Top of hen towards the back of the site. Smoke now towards the spawn. Marv trying to Ten find that opportunity left. to cancel out that showstopper. Spike planted. Starve now for this kill. Pushing towards the spawn. Now delays as he just got the connection there against two players Toxin's working out from the spawn. Make that even three at that point. Toxin's Meanwhile, though, the, sto the showstopper has been stopped. And a big paranoid delays even more. Trying to swing out. A seize now for Booster to get behind, but Marv is ready for it. All three players now spotted from 100 Thieves in the back of the spawn. As they're working together on the top of A Heaven, the heal comes up and the crossfire set up for energy on the pulse plant. Nice shots coming out from Marv once again, running out of bullets. No trades coming out of that one after Krausel gets that pick. But the time is not looking good now, not looking in the favor of 100 Thieves, especially ah. after that kill. Last player now being EU, forced to save his weapon. But the silver lining is that energy will also lose all of theirs. How do they find that window uh, to go through ropes, to go in 3v5, understanding that they can make it through and honestly looking at how they might is that we talked about how energy is allowing these rounds to go a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And what does that make 100 Thieves do? They play towards the back of the site anchoring so they're not the one to go down and have the site take just be a chaotic for a retake. So at that point, Energy says, well, if they're going to be backing up, let's go for the Heaven Control. B's too close. They could be right on Rafter. They walk through Heaven, waltz into sight, and make it work again. The later rounds, Ethan and the team oh, have such good control of what's going on in the map, even if their member's down. All right, they set back up here for round 10. Five to four is Energy pull ahead. And Spike's going to be working towards mid. This is the first real big split we have from Energy in a 1-2-2, two, two, just to read the map and start off on a more of a default. Usually we see a hit towards ramp, heavy, they make noise. Mid would have already had something more to it, but just touch and go right now is a quick trade. That's right, for energy side, they're playing the buddy system. So a two versus one, at least to guarantee that trade. The TP in the back of the site to plant that safe. Showstopper coming out. Nobody to stop Asuna here. Cosmic Divide as well. Oh. Hey, get in the pick. EU get another one. Showstopper, no kill, but the players dwindled down. No players for energy in the post plant as they have forced to cross the Cosmic Divide. Denied now by 100 Thieves. Once again, tying up the game. Nice collapse onto the site. 100 Thieves are able to read that one, especially if energy is not trying to throw anything weird into the mix, like jumping up ramp or drawing attention to B main. A, a base round like that, and 100 Thieves are going to be walking away happy. Great defuses in the past four or five rounds. You see four out of the five there they're able to take. Spike planted. And yeah, it seems like they're doing all right. Remaining. Man down as well. The rounds 100 Thieves has suffered. Doesn't seem like they are. Yes, let me get it. Nice indeed. All right. Wall set up cross mid. Also a star there. Still a Viper wall towards A so they can maybe get a lurk in and a bit of pressure. Bang says no. They instantly stop this little game at A that Energy's been playing with the Viper's pit. I think it looks like you can still satchel through if you want to. That's why Bang's playing out in the open. Instead, Energy is trying to find the opening towards mid. It works out. Really cool timing there. That was neat. Support there coming through from the rest of the players on the defensive end. So with that pit, Asuna, easy for him here to cover towards the back of the vents. And once again, energy at a player disadvantage with a minute left on the clock. Poison's off. Yeah, now Marv's forced to do this without the B heaven control, right? Back and forth, putting up his orb, trying to fake out Cryo, whether he pass through or not and then again puts it up just to work towards mid here how do they work the map now do they 30 seconds mid map they went a last time and they're doing this almost the same thing to set up for it but b has to be the commit i feel weapons collected too so three players now with stingers there's a vandal on the ground for them to pick up he was playing to jiggle for the contact and forced to fall back dash for it as demon picks up the vandal at the yeah, same time and is. is trying to get the blood the entry towards his B side, drop towards the ground. Maybe need the flash, but it's used towards the front of B. Still, Demon One wins that, and the second one turns around towards the top of the B heavens to drop Asuna. Pit now in engaged as Mark gets that pick. EU could not punish that plant, and it'll go down now. Another situation here where there's only three pairs left for energy, and it may convert now as Bang is left alone. Just slowly walking in. You gotta ask. Whoa, wait a minute. We can ask later. 
You could ask now. Okay. <laughs> He'll try again. It's though. like his it one gun, all energy needs on these lower rounds. They find one vandal. Demon one goes crazy. It was just on the second round. It was just one gun that they got to make it work. Oh. Oh. It's not over yet now, but Bang is decayed down to one HP. He's trying to get it back. Oh, not enough time. He's gonna pull that pit down so that he can make sure that he watches that spot. Oh my God. Guarantee the round no matter what for energy, but Bang does a good job to keep it expensive Christy. for the attack side of energy. Incredibly ex expensive and looking like maybe a 6-6 six, six too with the way that they can Last figure this out. In, in Zix's setup before, they've got some aimers, man, and they do absolutely stellar play on that and incredibly smart to be able to fake out the members of energy in the pit situation. That's just wild. You only have one spot to come from there. It's a choke point, and you're still taking out two. That's incredible stuff from Bang. Still the round for energy in the end, but a lot of damage done there to help 100 Thieves bring this to a 6-6. Six, six. Hey, we get the double duelist hit. Almost. Quick towards the ramp. Junior double duelist hit. Just ramp. Dog looking towards the left side. Oh. It's not going inside the cage. Jordan Picker has been good at this spot before with the same weapon. But inside this one, even new. And Cry also falls. All the players are 100 Thieves. Eliminated now from the A site. Alti coming up. This is not looking like a 6-6 six, six after all. It's the last two players of EU and Austin up where the Thieves have to rotate. First contact. Second one being shot. So now the call for her energy is that both players of 100 Thieves are now towards the spawn. Sees they now, nobody pushing forward. Nightfall, that's gonna get a lot of information though. And with that kill, they know exactly where the four players are at. Showstopper now at the ready, popped up here by Victor, just trying to waste that clock down. And they're waiting on their end, 400 Thieves. Finally gets shot out. Asta swings out, gets denied. And EU, it's gonna be difficult. Up against the world. Wall bang onto Ethan. But again, Another situation where time is not in the favor of 100 Thieves for the attempt of the retake. Yep. Round will conclude in favor of energy with that kill from Crashies as they take the lead, seven to five and a half. The two really different styles of attack that we saw coming in here, or styles that were able to bring in results. And 100 Thieves were always looking for the 2Ks, the 3Ks, and almost needing them in situations where it felt like energy might have suffered a few losses in the round, but then played the map out to find the pick, find the pick, and come away with it. I have contact for you. If they push. <laughs> Stats player! Uh, <laughs> Nobody does that, right? Stats yeah. player, that's the 3K probably that Bang got there after the pulse plant. But at least now we have the halftime, so let's toss it to Baby Bay and Mimi at the Telestrator. Thanks for the poem. Are we getting bars? We gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta figure that out. we gotta figure that out. We're back in the game though. Let's see what they have for us here as they, they write the story of this series. Heavy A pressure for energy to start off and 100 Thieves look to pick the pocket of B. It is just even one in the back. And yeah. it, again, it's not a share. And not a raid boss ghost. either, right? So he's trying to get the cloppers with the ghost, trying to get the contacts. There are some dinks and some damage being done here onto Bang and Cryo yet. The solo anchor play cannot get at least one for his teammates to rotate across. Plant will come down towards his B site, but already energy is picking up the pace. Flashes galore towards his B site. Busio and Asnar are trying to hold their ground. Player advantage 400 Thieves as Ethan comes in and chimes through. Crashy turns around to make it a one versus one now for Cross Cells. A pull here and a shot from Cross Cells. Once again, stepping up. I think that's his site. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cryo feels so comfortable in B12 and 7 right now. It's, it's, it's been so quiet from Cryo because it's like, you coming to my side or not? I always have to rotate into these other sides, but when they do, man, he pops off. And I think they may, uh, they may be worried about that now. Very nicely done from what could be a bit of the lurk here if Bang's not doing it already. Yeah, there goes Cryo towards mid. And we'll see a bit of a, a mid towards a ramp play here, but NRG wants space mid, I think, more than 100 Thieves right now. 100 Thieves wants to temple fairly quickly. They do have some strong buys now. Guardian and Bulldogs walking up now towards this a ramp. Creeping up. And this wall comes down. The ping's already coming across here, indicating Rotation. there's potentially a player playing behind that. As soon right as the there. wall went down, looks like Demon One was ready and he already pulled back, but looks like Energy has a pretty decent read though. They're inching that. Yeah. 
the pit or the hit rather is coming towards this a side and you already have the sack really good they're calling the hey you hit b all right you're gonna hit a it's just normal one and the other <laughs> Sometimes that easy, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that easy, easy. Marv's here though. Marv can creep up and get a few, but they are uh, privy to somebody being in there because they haven't looked. And that wingman is just going to make things difficult now, forcing energy to come out of their holes. And actually, it works out for a kill. Flat now comes down. No smokes here to protect the diffuser. Looks like we're just sticking in for a bit. It's now halfway. The run down from Bang and Cells. And that no smoke there towards that spike diffuse so is probably something that energy could have done. But instead, it's 100 Thieves tying up the game 7 and 7. That was such a cool op switch. We just go over to him. He's like, <laughs> just in a war zone, taking people down. All right. There's the two 100 Thieves fans we're looking for in the first half. But they do get both pistols. Showing dominance there coming into the first part of the round as we see this retake. One Man, that protocol bulldog looks better and better. People be bang using it. We got John Cutie getting 4Ks with it. I'm gonna start doing numbers. All right, towards A. Still a stack from Energy. They are hovering this just to leave Demon 1 on B again. Wow, they're fast though. Bang gets a pick onto Ethan, gets caught towards the screen as he's trying to Woo. fall back. Asuna as they're trying to drop down for Energy, trying to catch them off guard, counting bullets and trying to catch them off reloads. Oh, but it's still only two players left now for energy. Plant yet to go down for 100 Thieves as it's stuck down towards hell. And the last two players have energy now grouping up towards the heaven. You cut noise, trying to see if energy is going to walk out. So there's EU posted up now towards the orb. Crow's going to make the noise, even trying to bait out the players if he can, so that EU could get ready. There is that trigger discipline. There's that one and two. Oh. Congratulations. That, I'm sure Chet feels not happy nope. about that one. Definitely Seeing the not. team, you're missing the fundamentals after pistol, a very big round that could have been grabbed, but no, 100 Thieves takes the bonus. And this is the momentum we were talking about in the first half, the era of momentum that we're seeing right now. 100 Thieves could really start to run away with these rounds. We, we did. <laughs> There's that boost to a cosplay in the crowd. All right, here we go. A low buy from energy. They do more of a split and try to take extremity control. So maybe pick up a weapon, maybe find the back of somebody in the right timing. But look how patient 100 thieves are. Ready for anything tricky and not even giving an ounce of space right here. B main they've taken, but yeah, they don't want it back. Having B main is fine. If anything, there's a good space taken with that Judge from Marv. So that's D sign on lock, and the other ones could now move around here to stack in the gamble. And it's on the A sign for three players yeah. of energy. Well, you have these walls coming up on contacts and smokes. You're trying to delay the gas and the smokes from both the Omen and the Viper. You can mm -hmm. already see it already being used now by Ethan. So they're trying to force 100 Thieves towards this A side stack with the crossfire. And they have decent weapon for it here. Of course, they have both bullets and have Demon 1 with a chair. That's good enough sometimes. Right there. Hi, Dizzy. Easy grab There's there. Somebody. Back in 10. And this is going to be spike drop from heaven if they don't fully go in. So it's, they either have to go in or clear sight. Victor is able to grab one before he left. falls. And he was forced out because of that mosh. Crash is trying to stop the wing man, but couldn't get the kill through the smoke. And he gets denied. EU is free right back against him. Now, Bang looking to walk inside that smoke, but the TP made it through. So Ethan is safe for now. But for 100 Thieves are even safer. Spike is punted for them on the top of E-Heaven. And all they got to do here is just watch the angles and wait the clock. And there's that contact. Nice wall bank through the map to drop Demon 1. There's that smoke that you needed. Wasn't able to get it halfway. So this is a great opportunity now for 100 Thieves to just close out the left. round. Oh my God. Too much util left. No matter what for 100 Thieves for the pulse plant. Smoke him out of his own smoke. Don't let it happen. All right, a buy here for energy. So let's think about what they can do. They're back. I feel like it's just deja vu in this inventory. 100 Thieves, Cosmic Divide and Thrash are up again. Cryo and Bustio doing so much work in the early part of these rounds. So they have those alts online. And they even had it last round with the way Bustio had it. All these plants, the orb farming, Gecko gets to alt so fast. Orbs are pretty, pretty reachable on split too. 
So let's talk about energy. What can they do? Looking at Victor Showstopper here. Everything's basically in retaliation. Yeah. But they'd be a bit proactive to make sure that pet retaliation starts immediately. Just walking out mid, I guess uh, the unexpected pays off on round 17 here for energy. With no flash support, no dog. It's Seriously. It's Duelist and Mark moving forward, right? <laughs> Let's do what we do best. Let's just shoot. So this opens up the space towards the A site and Bang made it through. Here's a rotate of two players at the screens. Might be able to catch one that walks towards the elbow. Yep. Gets the move. Oh my gosh. You had to fight it. 100 these members need to be called on. They are delivering right now. Here we go towards A. Oh yeah. Monster on the loose. Gonna wait for this thrash. Got cancelled out, and there's no reply behind because of the cosmic divide. But there will be the showstopper on the defense, though. And they hide behind the smoke. The players are 100 thieves to avoid the showstopper, and Victor cannot find anything. And unfortunately, he only sees on top right of his board that his players are falling down, his wow. teammates are falling down, and himself will fall down from the hands of 100 Thieves. I was, yeah, guys still got a 100 Thieves on the win, got a praise energy, heady play there by Marv. The orb going up. Thrash, if you didn't know, doesn't like mollies, doesn't like those orbs, doesn't like really getting tagged with anything. That's why we saw Thrash go down right away. So cool protection, cool ideas on how to stop 100 Thieves. But you still can't, because Bang is already in your defensive side. Things like Enemy this, remaining. they are absolutely just popping this off when energy is least expecting it. I think yeah. that's the weird part, is usually like, oh, they lost 1v1, but no. It's a lot of unexpected kills that are happening for energy here that 100 Thieves are just able to pick up. And what was there to hard things out? We're round number 18. It's only 10 to 7. There's still a way and a chance to make things close. Mm-hmm. Okay. Heavy B main control energy are trying to put something on the docket that would give them an advantage, a hit, but where's 100 Thieves? All the way on the other side. Ready to hit the soft site right now. A judge, though, for Marv could really flip the script here if they all head down this A, a choke point. But if Busio plays that spot on the judges, should be ready for that, right? Wall comes down, they're not ready for it. Right behind it, the spray comes out from Bang to crit it out, though. And that's the only player inside the side. The other one had to fall back. That's Ethan down to 33 HP. At least you forced out the Viper's Pit on your lower buy for energy. That's 100 Thieves putting it out towards the screen. So you're going to like that at least on your lower buy. My ult is ready. And you're not expecting those positions on the pulse plan for no. energy. And they're happy to use Viper's Pit here, right? Get it, cycle it, get it back up. Yeah, especially when you still have a nightfall to work with. Now off the spike, close back. Oh my god! Right play connection. Can they do wrong? Doesn't look like it. Man, just to hop in and out of the smoke, I think, is a good teller. Uh, it just tells you how it's been happening for energy. These, these moments where they're not looking in the right direction or just missed that edge of the smoke that uh, Asuna was on. Don't be killed. God, they're just so ready across the map. <laughs> Yo, I'm reading these kids. They're so pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Man, power alts, two on the side, 100 thieves. Vans, they are on a run this half. The momentum is real. And 100 thieves are flying through here with 11 on the second half. Spike's going to be rotating all the way across. They go fast ramp to just get energy thinking it's a hit that 100 Thieves is sitting in heaven right now. But they're not. They're already mobile. They're already across the map. And you saw when BBOB was talking about, hey, I haven't seen good right value there. right now of a gecko here on the map. You saw Bustio playing all the way towards the spawn, using mm -hmm. that util, not only with the molly, but also the dizzy to try to use that same way as Skyward Flash, your duelist on top of the A ramp. And this allows for him to stay back too to rotate even quicker with the rest of the team towards the B site where they're currently popping. Asta Showstopper misses, was hit by the paranoia. Where'd he go? But the site's been cleared. Wingman moving in, and they're trying to get the plan for B main, and it will be successful. Asana? Asana Shorty? Oh, see, they're looking for the little windows. The spike was just planted, pushed through to see if energy's encroaching. All these little advantages 100 Thieves is looking for. As the nightfall comes out, Bang is just right there. All that info, they'll never hear it. Works out for those two kills, but they have lost the the control on the top of B Heaven. The op is also down. There's only two players left for energy. Low on HP. Now back from the nightfall hit. There is that flash to Boombot. The Haunt gets in full. Oh, it's on his face! It's on his face! Get it off! And now the 
last one, the last one at the top. Crashies falls, and 100 Thieves are at Matt Point. Oh my gosh. Ethan Matt even pulling point. out the Paranoia Ultimate to the back site to try and catch 100 Thieves off guard, but there's too many. They were too split. They had every angle, and again, do no wrong. Undefeated on this second half right now. I should say lost a round. But holy moly, looking to close it out here straight through. <laughs> nah, he just lost for a second. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wait, you can see? Wait, you can see, right? I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, I think like... the whole crowd here in the right game three has saw it. <laughs> All right, towards mid. Energy say, all right, well, go away from mid. Go right or left. We don't know where else to go. We have extremity control, so we'll put pit mid. But do they have mid control? Absolutely, you tilled out of it. The shows the confidence of yeah. of these two, right? Hey, there's a pit there. Let's just fight it. Exuding confidence, honestly. Still the lurk from Bang. They'll go for the 2-3 split here. I wonder how they're going to uh, orchestrate this strat. Ethan's just ready to deny. There's a lot of responsibility, though, for Demon 1 currently holding the E-Main alone now. The Prowler is going to know that he's playing close now towards the orb. There's going to be more utility help. There's that flash coming in finally from Heaven just to try to push him back for a bit. Haunt, he breaks it. A dink now through the wall, down to 23, dashes away, and they lose control of the A site. And that's where now the players are making and activating towards that B site 100 Thieves are now pulling back to pop towards A. Heaven control. Actually, energy hasn't really focused as, uh, on defense like this. They also have an ulted mid, so maybe that's why you're seeing heaven control in the site be free for now. Because 100 Thieves have been so good around all of these maps, energy cannot rotate fast enough, so they have to play the retake now, making sure that the control towards a heaven. So Wingman's gonna get that plan. It's gonna be safe towards that back. Asana pushed all the way up four screens, and that was not checked or cleared by Victor. At least Crashies will be able to avenge his duo. And a beautiful flash coming out too. Currently looking for that double swing. Bang's holding the off angle, and they both lined up. That's Bang and Boostio to fall. EU now trying to play. The tight angle, hugging the wall towards the elbow. And there's two smokes now covering the vision. There's that first pick. A second one does not connect. Rashi's doing great work now to allow energy to pull back, pull back, and get the defuse. All right, they grab one. They've got one. How much money, though, does 100 Thieves have? Because we're right back into a buy round. I don't think they've actually take, or suffered too much damage throughout the rounds. They were winning, which means the economy's up. They're still feeling comfortable, and they have a lot of rounds to work with here on Game Point. So pressure still stays on energy. Great pushes to start this one off. But yeah, energy had to pull out all the stops to get back. That, that, those two killed by Demon 1, actually. Lock that one in if you were looking for a part of that round. Across the map, two and three. Spikes towards left side, and you can see Vance was just talking about this earlier, being able to flash all the way from the back. Safe Dizzy re-grab, no problem. You know they're trying to play a quick peek. But there was an instant flash that came out here from Crashies mm -hmm. and did not connect, so they have an idea now that the raise is not there. A whole lot of early information is being used now just to try to clear out towards this yeah, ramp. Yeah, dog already, too? Yep. Only gets to the bottom part. And still, that's not even for sure if Demon 1 can push that peak that get a safe orb. Looking for the fight still, but it's a B hit. He hears all of this, too. He's just waiting for the right call. There's that first delay with the satchels and with the pain shells. Beautiful flash, though, blinding, too. The crash, he still lands that shot. Denies the plan from the wingman. But One, two. Right, open up the site. Demon one a little bit far behind, a little bit too far now as Victor falls as the last man standing in sight, that beast sight. It's Demon one as the last man standing, let's get a clutch, and it's not gonna happen. Bang.
Deeds is going to feel after a dominating <laughs> first game like that, oh, where yeah. confidence is behind every shot. We looked at the score. I, I sat, I didn't mention it. We looked at the scoreboard at the end of the game. It was like 18, 19, 18, 16. Everybody's fragging for 100 Deeds here. Let's get into the map and see if that still happens for him. Towards mid. But this play towards B long, just getting a bit of info, trying to make 100 Thieves think it's a B play. And it works out. They're able to take the front of that A side energy going for the wingman plant. Trying to clear the towers. It's a jump spot from Prodigies, but Ashina and Kronosels are run through the smoke. But Victor turns around a 180 to 180, giving it chances now for energy to win the pulse plant. But there's a double flank. Ethan has to be ready for it now as he's looking at it. Gets the contact on the first one, but loses that fight. Disadvantage now for energy. As both players are still moving forward, but again, the players on the attack only knew the bang on that flank. As now they finally spot Bustio, who has the wingman on that defuse. Asta setting up the crossfire for the rest, and it's a clean retake in the end for the Thieves. Three pistol rounds for 100 Thieves on the series so far as they start off again here on Bind. So much control. I, I, Bustio just loving the gecko. You know he does. You know he does. And he's like, oh, I'm flashing again. I'm doing it. That's how they circumvent getting around. They, they bring this fade. They have multiple flashes with the gecko. They work a little bit more off map control knowledge. Again, again, again. <laughs> that was like music with those kills. Yes. I was feeling the beat. Woo. We're starting to get into a roll there. All right. Guardian Cryo. Still just a ghost for Bustio. And now they switch it. Wait, this is just a, a mirror of the first round. Now Sky's on the right and the team's on the left. So they're just trying to mess with Energy's head here in the beginning. First flash through and a little delay from a Viper bite there. Yeah, and that Dizzy's not gonna do much in the end. No. And also far from reach. Bang with the confidence to swing out. Some damage being done and looks like pain shells also landed right at the feet of demon one And that's gonna be very dangerous for the re-hit for energy because they won't have smokes to work with And they don't have I mean they only have one ethan flash too. They just lost dizzy towards long was not able to grab that back Should still be able to break a bit of the site here left take flash out of showers and that's the front site for energy But plants kind of the goal right now the round win would be amazing they're just looking for that extra money because 100 Thieves is going to be right so, on yeah. top yeah. as it's this happens. Easy for Cryo now from his position to just look over the site from the tower pretty much at heaven. At least there's an opportunity for a flash and a double pop. It's deep, but now the double swing. Mm -hmm. Bustio doesn't need any help. Well, he'll get it. <laughs> Those two kills. And a third for the round. And it's one of these games again where Thrash is it's gonna be up very soon. Remember, Bustio was bringing in Thrash, I think third or fourth round there on second half of split. You're gonna get it again, just about when Energy wants to start grabbing their momentum after this bonus round, if they can secure it. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, wow. And Boosty is uh, in, in feel it mode right now. Yep. Also did that out in the open. Yeah. Full confidence now, feeling the vibes. Feeling zero of that pressure, especially in the position of 100 Thieves that they've already clinched playoffs. But remember, they are also playing for championship points for a chance to make the champs. One win is one point under the belt overall in the circuit. As the gun run now comes in for energy with Victor opening it up onto Set Busu that we're just praising before. As 100 Thieves had to play now a man behind. I haven't completely taken Shower's control for energy. And a push here actually from Cryo helps to deliver info to the other side of the map. Now Cryo probably gonna lose his life on this one. But it's still the info that 100 Thieves wants currently. Energy is respecting a lot here. They know how much they need this bonus round. Even a man up, they're still playing it like it's a 5v5. And this is crazy too that Cryo's playing this spot as an agent that can't really escape. Yeah. But that's been a mistake here from Energy on that previous round. When no, they go clear no shot. Since he saved Cratchy's for a bit, but no chance to react. Cryo gets two headshots you've, and a spike. You've had to have learned from Split. You did? <laughs> you did not. You did not. Round. Energy's not checking corners. The demise of so many rounds in this series so far. And possibly another bonus for 100 Thieves here. Still 3v3. 
shows up her, forced to come out, cry with the fourth in the round. And Demon once now spotted towards the showers, and you definitely do see it that they want to give it to Cryo. The headshot there, Demon with the second. Oh, he might turn around, and we're trying to run the clock. Close range, 30 from EU. That could have been a clutch and a half that could have been costly there for 100 Thieves, but at least they got around. Oh my gosh. An energy are getting picked apart at every front when they try something. Cryo. Cryo, we said that was a one and done. He ends up getting four. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of insane. He, uh, just, it can't be. Fundamentals are falling apart right now for energy on a lot of these rounds, and 100 Thieves are able to just hit on that advantage, and they're taking it full force. Towards A, no real split here coming in from energy this time, just towards the A site. Oh, oh, oh. And Asuna starts with a nade. Sees nade when the spits came out, and yeah, that's not gonna do too much on the half by that you have from energy. No plan, no extra 300, at least to get one kill, but Asuna is already ready for a showstopper for the next round. And it's Cryo, the guy that goes down, just give him another alt point. He's fine with that, gonna be able to buy after the 4K. There is the showstopper, there's Cryo's alt, and Bustio is one away from his first few rounds. Tell me that's not momentum already for 100 Thieves, Fancilli. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, we're back to a gun, though. So let's see what energy can do, what they've been trying to do. The Sky, Ethan, left side of the map, team was on the right. Second round, they switched it up. We've seen a little bit more of a default throughout these rounds, but they are not getting payoff on these first bits of utility. They're not figuring out who's really covering a site and being able to make the decision they want, I think. Change of tempo, though. Yeah. Lots of pressure towards that front B side, and they want to commit just to try to push. The defender's back here from 100 Thieves, and hopefully catch somebody off guard, but Austin is ready for it. Satcheling through, and it's a one for one. <laughs> That'll work. A little handshake. Raise mirror match as they both fall. Cryo holding back in U-Haul. Thrash just on the other side. I don't even know if they'll have to use the alts to delay here. It's quick trade. Down. That's gonna activate energy a little bit, but they just don't know how close 100 Thieves are. Oh, I'm sure mirror matches all over the place here. Util being used simultaneously as, again, every time we fall down though for 100 Thieves on the defense, at least they're able to take one with them in the first place, which now allows for them to have the player advantage for the retake. Crash is playing it alone now, Spike. Plan it for him, he has Util to work with and he also has that Thrash. Just needs to figure out now where Bang is because he heard that haunt from spawn. This win, even if Crashies gets it, still, it's tough money for energy. They need to do so much work, and this could be the start. There's that first shot in the tap. Now the thrash comes out. Bang's trying to get that speed yep, out. There's the Molly hit. And it's good enough. He still has the mock to work with. Runs out. Oh my gosh. Thinking that he had it too. Bang's trying to get it halfway. Not going to happen. And now there it potentially is. not enough time as Bang is forced to stick. And definitely it's not going to happen. A big clutch coming out from Crashies. Never more is a clutch needed for energy than right now. Look at the money on their side too. Just under 4K almost across the board. A stinger for Ethan. But watch the replay. Right there. Oh, the trades they're getting. 100 Thieves always finding something, so it makes energy have to work a little bit harder every time. Even this, when you're doing it right, you're still losing people. But this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 I saw him go back. I he, think he I saw him go Really? Yeah, oh, he's on the edge of it, no? No, 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 no. he was on the green. He was on the green. Oh, oh yep, yep. Boost deals like, no, no. I know how Mosh works. He would have died. He would have died. <laughs> I play him all the time, and also thanks to that. Oh, oh. Gets a thrash and one's detained. Oh, oh dear. Right coming oh, out with dear. The defense, just trying to push him back, but it's the pink shells that land onto Victor to allow 100 Thieves to get the player advantage. But all of the ults now expense a fight down towards the showers as Ethan cleans it up with the stinger. And we have a three on three. Just alert, or just to hang out on anchor and B from Bang. Utility's good from EU and Cryo right now. Energy, go back to playing a little slower to get the next bit of space. There's that contact, Marv, nice little entry. Snake bites coming in from B side, but it's gonna be a little bit too late. Spike will go down. 
And Bang has a long rotate, and as they saw that spit come through from the air, they know definitely there's only one player isolated here on the left side of Trybox, and that's EU. Hot now being thrown, wasting enough time to allow Bang to move up with them as they can work together to retake this site. But look how passively we're playing here for energy. There's not really any util coming in for the Pulse Plan as they're just waiting for the tap and waiting to move up now. And double swing as they saw nobody on that spike. Now they could play the clock in their favor. Player Ethan standing. gets that pick onto EU. Difficult now. 400 Thieves to convert. It's a round instead for Ooh. energy. That is a big one as well. We talked about those two for energy. They kind of secure a bit of money they can start to work with. And now 100 Thieves starts to feel the pain. We didn't really get much of this positioning from energy even on the first map. Only for a few rounds did they take the lead and then 100 Thieves battled back immediately on that second half. So this is good. Energy starting early. Getting a bit of that groove. All right. Judge here for Cryo. Going to be playing the U-Haul. Only has to worry about Seekers here from Ethan to come in if they really need to figure out where 100 Thieves are going to be playing defense on the map. So with the spike down for energy, trying to read, still understanding that 100 Thieves, their post plant, their sight take and their defense right now, it, it seems like energy cannot get through it unless they've got enough information. So this slow game will continue for energy. Ethan's doing whatever he can here to keep the players posted up yeah. on this A side. He heavily prioritizing Trailblazer to be a lot of their fake too here. Which is fine too, because yep. once he meets up with the team, you could actually use the Seekers now instead of a dog to try to get control and information of this B site. You saw their early rotate coming through from under these. And look where they're at. He was already in the back of the site getting ready to throw the Nightfall to get information on their side. This might be a second pit, a second pivot rather from energy if they want to go inside the TP. There's that Nightfall. It will connect just before being gooped. Busio does get the pick onto Victor and another one through. And it's two! On fire now, Chris with the shots. Enemy remaining. Teammates now dropping his opponents too inside Hookah and Crash is left alone. Left. A potential flawless now for 100 Thieves as they want to take the lead by three rounds. Crashy is just letting them come towards him. And swinging out is Busio, shoulder being spotted. TP's across where, yep, boom. Oh, right to the kneecap. Crashy's goes down and it does. It, Busio is incredibly on fire today from pistol round last map, that last round seven. He's feeling it, he's feeling, <laughs> oh, man's cold. Man's cold. Hell's freezing over right now. Uh, incredible. And he, you saw him kind of pause in the smoke, hearing the dizzy go up. Bustio being a gecko himself knows exactly how much timing you have on a dizzy, so decides to just peek through it. And by the way, I just ran through the smoke chunk through it. I know, I know. I'm so fucking good. <laughs> I don't know if he's cold or if he's asking for energy or scared because energy is calling a timeout. Yeah. But all the Ks are coming in favor of these, right? <laughs> <laughs> the end it of the day, true. it doesn't ha happen. It doesn't matter who it is, but the rounds are still in favor here on the defensive side of the Thieves here as they are playing on their map pick. And with the bearers coming up now, energy are trying to pivot back from this timeout to take a little bit more of middle control. Walking up here, first time that we're seeing some early control from energy towards Uka. <laughs> Trying to leverage Satchel's close range, closing that gap as well, because they have war buys to work with, with these stingers. But they don't see anybody there from Hunter Thieves. And no. it seems like they identify that for the defensive side because they're playing so far back now versus the potential buy that Energy currently has. They don't know it yet for Hunter Thieves what the, uh, what the buy was, rather. I think a lot of times after that timeout, it's what are they going to do? Well, we'll wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And they're, they're right to. I mean, you get faced with a bunch of stingers like that, and you're just going to get rattled right down. So, a dog to push out again. Nice molly delay, but energy have some space. Yeah. See if they can work with this. Kind of oh. pins them, though, towards the U-Haul with the Mosh, force them back <laughs> towards the back of the TP. Now that Dizzy gets shot in the air, and that's no blind coming in from the from the attacking side of energy as Pryo gets the spray onto Crashies. Forces now energy to move towards this B site. In the back, though, close range. He used helping out with these pop shots. Landing them clean. Haunt towards the air, trying to get one Ooh. ping. But looks like the last two players have energy made it through safely. Demon One trying to save the round. Off the plan. There's that backstab. Demon One answering right back. He's now all alone against two. Hurt the TP. 1v1 against Asuna. And knows where the last one is. The spray from Credo misses. And there's a chance.
Brimstone versus Brimstone, and maybe Demon One is the only three HP that he needs. Trying to look for that jump up. We're just waiting on that windowsill. Crying out for us to fall. Footsteps being heard now by Demon One. Oh, and he turns sweet. around for the flick. No clutch coming in for Demon One. And our round is denied as Kral gets to the fuse. It's, it's taken everything in these rounds. Last time it was Crashies. This time it's Demon One. You see how much 100 Thieves have energy on the ropes right now, even in these rounds where they've broken sight and tried to get into position. EU with a huge round there to just clap people as they were coming out of Hookah and really deny the energy strategy of switching up the map there at the end. 100 Thieves in the right place at the right time and a lot of these strats. And they pick up another round for themselves as we come into round nine. Guns around, full armor. This would be a round where you can start to see some change from energy if they play it right. But there's a change from under these. They're just walking They're pushing through here. hard. Yeah, and that gets a ping. They can't get the spray. Finally connects and Victor falls. And now they'll play the numbers. Fall back towards the site. So you want to energy to change the tempo a bit? Oh. It's definitely the thieves at that point. Of course it is. Go for guard. the throat again. And that the haunt coming in was so cool from EU. High over the wall through Octagon there. And it was not expected by NRG. Just the the little things. I mean, we're round nine in. That's the first time we've seen that. That's what energy has to deal with. They're getting different looks every time. And they're trying to do their own strats. They gotta deal with this crap from hundred thieves that has been <laughs> annoying them so much. And then you're gonna get a 4k or a 3k out of somebody yeah what do you do feels like they don't have any answers yet here for energy on their attack side at least for now server lining with 45 seconds left their smokers are still up they have an overall strike they have something to use all right. for those plans they could have hero plays but unfortunately busio gets the mosh onto crashies and he melts away advantage still for the thieves and they're playing a 2-2 easy setup right now and just waiting now for left. energy to make all that noise because they have the time against them. At least the corners finally are being checked. Demon One gets the first opener towards this A site. There's only Kyle left behind, gets the jump through the wall. And that's actually Ethan down to 62. 14 seconds left, they have to move in for a plat now. Thrash coming out as well. They try to support towards the front of the site. Six oh. seconds left. Demon One gets the pick on Debusio as he gets caught in his thrash. Plat now comes down. A two versus two. Crown EU trying to retake this side against Ethan and Marv as Ethan just got spotted and falls behind here towards you all. Bar swings out from short and Ethan as well. Beautiful 2v2 played in the end by energy. Took a lot of energy on that one to get themselves into position after losing so much around the map, having to deal with that push be long from 100 Thieves, having to call the audible. Man, Ethan and the team are being tested in how to reset these rounds. You lose two right away, but you still come back on the round. Incredible stuff here for energy to be able to persevere on this one. Fuck, nice shot, Max. And you ulted him? Holy, you're cooking, bro, actually. <laughs> And that was split pretty much as well, right? When you have yeah. an early advantage on the aggression of 100 Thieves and now you're trying to play back, it gives a lot of space for energy despite lower numbers to still, still convert the rounds. Now Showstopper comes out. Trying to find some space. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Teleport party. Lots of players coming from the back end from these TPs from 100 Thieves. Three players inside the showers as the rest of 100 Thieves fall inside the A site. Daisy now being thrown. Nice shot by Austin and Oath. Counter Dizzy coming out on the attack. Tank being forced. And a thrash as well. Does get a contact, and that's going to slow the clock down for a bit. But Austin also has his own showstopper to work with. An opportunity to use that here with the lower buy that they have for 100 Thieves to convert the round as players are playing deep inside that pit. Shots are not one landing. The pit remaining. will go down. Austin is now alone. Nice little flick on the first one. Pink shells forcing the last player out, and Ethan's gonna win it. Big stuff from Energy here. Doing a nice job at figuring out the game that they were bringing to the table was just too slow. 100 Thieves was reading it, just tearing it apart at either site, pushing long, pushing B, or taking them out once they did get into site. And 100 Thieves, or uh, Energy, picking up the pace here, getting in, not letting 100 Thieves have that defense, pays off. All right, see if they can do it again. This is gonna be 100 Thieves kind of broken on cash if they can't get this round, so Energy 
could feel very good here. Both teams' money is in a real weird spot as it's been this back and forth game of reset. And they go to pretty much the second round strap. Ethan towards showers, one to the left, and they get the orbital strike out of Cryo. Very happy for energy to see that. Yeah, it looks like they were trying to do potentially maybe even seize behind that, hoping that they caught some players through it. Energy is able to just slow that clock down and maybe try mm -hmm. to re-hit, but they have lost that wingman while they're trying to scale up here towards that long B. You will have to see them commit inside that site and force one player on that plant, which might give a window of opportunity for 100 Thieves to flood back. It's going to be a re-hit. Like you said, that orbital strike going down did give 100 Thieves the patience they wanted. Yeah, they chose to use it. Oh. Oh, An easy one there for now for Asuna. Now the Temple of Energy trying to open up the site. Busio caught now inside the hookah. Throws a Dizzy trying to slow that clock down, give a chance for the rotate left. to happen from Asuna all the way back towards the spawn. Victor knows that he needs to cancel this smoke. Big responsibility and he gets it. Nightfall, Nightfall now as he looks back against EU. Who's just ready for it every oh. single time on that flank and bang on the save on a rotate as well. That, that does funny money things, Van Silly. <laughs> this is really gonna start to mess with the economy. Especially if nobody can start to grab it and hold on to a, a few credits here. Last one, so that's gonna be, yeah, real low bite for energy. Could be an 8-4 now in favor of 100 Thieves as we rewatch this one. It's a lot of 1v1s to this, where they're pressuring good flank, 100 Thieves understanding what the map state was and just able to get around energy in the situation and look at those last few ones two rounds well, energy well, two well. rounds thieves now thieves start to pull it back again as we continue the roll shower control here just a little bit with asana and eu but it does not look like they want too much showstoppers already ready they're looking to see if that wants to be an orb on the side of energy but it's his B strat. We've seen energy roll this a few times. It has not always committed towards B, so they can look to get a lot of this util out and still use the pressure towards A that they have set up. When the last round, they're trying to put all the chances in their favor. So orb, making orb, sure orb. exactly. Maybe Shara's could be up for grabs. Victor could maybe get a kill or get a plant something to give a chance now for energy with their lower buy wow. to salvage this last round. A minute, at a minute, 100 Deeds actually have a protocol to retake Octagon there. Really trying to catch energy off guard. Usually it's the wait for the sight hit, but 100 Deeds proactive and energy are going to be on the other side of the map with the right macro call and in a sight. Showstopper at least coming out. Wait a minute. Austin, it lands onto Victor. Seeker's coming out on one side, and we're trying to get the lurk play from Demon. One inside the window who lands that headshot onto Bang. TP comes across. There's going to be a two versus one towards the Sands, and it's won by Energy. Now Busio anchoring towards that site. Has support from Austin as well. With 22 seconds left, off angle being positioned, and the crossfire is too nice for 100 Thieves as they get the last round of the half. How how much are we watching, right? And on the Switching screen, sides. we're looking. You go to look at the mini map after a round that's been a minute and 10. 10 seconds and you expect people to be a ping pong yeah i play, I love, ping, pong. I love I love ping, pong. ping pong i'm in that let's go okay we got a tournament somebody make the bracket we're right here though <laughs> we're looking to get into the brackets 100 thieves there looking to get a better spot of it yep his energy are still trying to write that story eight four first half could it be four pistol rounds for 100 thieves here it would hurt energy they for sure collect this and energy Right now, are just trying to hold this B site hit. And they have the right numbers for it here. Haunt is finding information on two players, though, and that is actually going to call the audible for 100 Thieves to fall back. Look how passively Energy is playing towards his A site. Victor's just trying to play an off angle, and as soon as a spoke comes down towards him, he's just going to have to watch the spawn so that his teammates can rotate across. Maybe full nade delay here if we see that get ripped out of the util. Yep. All right, just for now. Oh, it squeaks out. Quick, squeezing the cheeks. He makes it. All right. Okay. Two coming around from Hookah. Sands is covered, but that's going to be a watch here from EU. 
the 100 Thieves are anchored in the site right now for a good post plan. Dizzy will not blind anybody as it comes as a nice flick from Ethan. Right there. Allowing now energy to slowly scale back and clear every corner on towards that short A. Wingman now goes on to the spike, but Busu connects the shot on the pulse plant. Slowly but surely they're getting these picks, but now they have a minute. EU on that flank. Enemy who down. gets that first and runs out of bullets? Hot now. Or C's coming through trying to get those shots. Now they're sticking it for energy and they'll get it. All four. It could be two more, depending on what happens on this one. But four pistol rounds for 100 Thieves. They take it again, and really cheeky. As soon as Bustio gets to the site, and we see this all the time with Gecko, but just to point out how it worked there really well, you have to shoot it. You want to get Gecko's defuse off. It gives away the pocket player, right? Absolutely wild. Oh, so energy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Energy route uh, coming into that one as I just kind of go off on my own. <laughs> uh, but yeah, looking to use Bustio's wingman to get that defuse. Didn't work. Energy come out with that one. So that's big. They get themselves a pistol round. I was just so excited to say 100 well, looked, at all four. Almost, right? Because <laughs> you had that C's going inside that smoke. Yeah, yeah, low yeah. With the HP, so that with the lower bullets, hopefully you're getting something there for 100 Thieves. But unfortunately for them, it's Energy getting the pistol and also converting on the first blood in round number 14. Asna falls, Ooh. and that is the last space opportunity to be taken for 100 Thieves on a pop on this lower buy. They still have two shares to work with, though. Yeah. That's in the hands of Bang and Bustio. And yeah, they're good with these. Slowing it down. Just hoping for one more peek. I'll take it. Crashies oh. finds it as the wall goes up a little late on that for Bang. And they're still right looking for one of these. Yeah, finds it. There are the peaks that they wanted. That allows here a gun to get picked up as the wall comes up on the defensive side. Snake by now keeps Bustio away from me, but it'll pick it up, but it'll give him a chance to reload as he throws the Dizzy. Players are playing tucked inside the site for energy. Mars swings out, Bustio landing those shots, at least for that one. But we convert the pistol for energy and have a chance now to come back. Only two away. And they're gonna have to push through this round. I Usually you're not too worried about losing the bonus with the way things are going, but I feel like 100 Thieves right now being able to take back any rounds is just too much trouble. This is going to be a big one. Victor's on the Phantom, Bulldog. What does Marv go to? Actually just sold out, pulls back the Stinger. Feels like that's the buy. Yeah. So do they protect these rifles? Where do they go? It's Demon 1 and Victor with that power. One's a B-Long and one's going towards Hookah. Quick shot actually right in the beginning. Nothing tagged. And Victor trying to play up close. Yeah, actually Demon Wynn's posted up here towards Shower, so watch on long right, range. Right. They have the distance covered now with those rifles for energy, forced down to fall back again. We're having an exchange of utility down towards this long B. But now the call is to instantly pivot those players from energy towards this A side, leaving okay. B side a little bit more weak. Or a lot weaker, rather. There's only one player there. Down. Yeah, it's delay day if they go Force towards towards B. Marv just throws out the one bite, puts the wall up, tries Poison to hold. Off. And a good U-Haul control here from energy though. You gotta remember, 100 Thieves are coming in with the better weaponry, so they're just looking for the first angles. Yep. Looking Force to get door. somebody modeled out here. One, it's a good read, and two, they're using stingers in close range battles towards U-Haul. Dizzy to Dizzy, a walk inside, bang, gets vulnerable, and that allows Victor to get those two kills, but it gets instantly traded out, crashes from behind. We're going back and forth, disadvantage now for the Thieves. He used less standing with the spike, though, at least planted, and the time in his favor. Trying to find the rotates. The smokes coming out that were executed here from Cryo does not give him a chance to get clear path towards the spawn. Now footsteps are being heard. That's a life thrown away, hoping that Demon 1 was in an angle to trade it out. Right. But unfortunately, it's not. And that gives a chance now for EU to clutch this one. Spike down. The only, this is going to be an easy one. A tap, a walk through. EU gets the pick. What a lead. EU. These past few games, stepping up in the solo situations and even pressured on a site take. Really awesome stuff coming from the initiator player here and clutches a very big round there. That could have been a different story though, right? You oh, saw yeah. Bang sweep yeah. up, like swoop up that uh, poison orb and never check that corner. One of those small errors that, you know, that, would, that punished energy a lot. And that almost gave a chance there for Victor to potentially even get three and a chance for the round. 
But that was just a bonus run for energy, right? They did some good damage there. Okay. King yeah. down to 1v1. Yeah. Yet, although their buy is still pretty broken. Thrash coming out early. But yeah, it's really looking like 100 Thieves are taking control now of this ace site and also towards the execution. There's only Victor alone now towards showers. Planted. There's the plant. And you have, it's covered, right? Asuna's already over there to the side, making sure that showers isn't a problem. Right they split there. the site immediately. A lot of the times when you see a take like this, you, you don't necessarily get that right side. So to have the hold is so nice. Oh! Oh, nice trade. Post-mortem from Victor. Busio and Cryo are holding together with a third on the top. One contact and it'll be a double swing behind. Guaranteeing the trade and also guaranteeing the round. 400 Thieves. They mess with one of us, 100 Thieves are incredibly confident in their pressure right now and what they're putting forward and uh, for energy to see. The one thing we heard, I mentioned earlier that Zick said is we have we have a lot of aimers on the team. And I think one thing the 100 Thieves have also done now is combine the utility usage, remain. the cooperation, team synergy with that aim. And I, I it like looks the, like so good. Just start ripping this Everything thing. is working for you. This <laughs> That is hype manifesting right there. Hype it up. around. Speaking quickly too. All the way down B long here for energy as 100 Thieves goes right back to A. Yeah. Looks like a gamble to walk down towards that era because the amount of times that it went back and forth for you till right. towards that long B. And 100 Thieves that go for a different pivot. Just run it down towards the A site, open site for them to plant. And now that they see nobody really accosting them towards the back of the A site, they should have an opportunity an inkling that there's a mm -hmm. flank coming here from energy but how many players they'll soon find out so looking ahead it shouldn't get too crazy wait a minute it's getting crazy there's a showstopper coming out on the attack and the defensive one gets cancelled right away now here comes the other flanks coming through ethan lands that shot wall bang onto eu crowds there to save but that clock is looking difficult now lots because... of vaults being used on the defensive side and as soon as it's popped it's dropped and energy will not have too much left now in the next round. Uh, that, honestly, a story being told there of pressure. The game being out of control for energy and thinking if 100 Thieves get this, they're going to keep going. We're not going to have enough time. I Going into that, I thought that was going to be, okay, energy go to retake this. They do some damage. Ethan's death has them Seekers next round. So they have Seekers. They have a bunch of alts. And then at the last moment, they use all the alts. Patient at least. Right. Like you said, just syncing up, getting it, getting it orchestrated right so everyone is on the same page. I see 100 Thieves finding those openings and just tearing the pages right out of Energy's strap book overall. They still have the Thrash. Looks like they will get a little bit of shower control here. They still want to orb denial, no matter the state of the game or agent control. Crashies right off the bat. Victor made it out too. And it's working out. Okay. Tried to temple up once again, and yeah, that's going to be a free defuse pretty much. Get him on a just fight background. <laughs> just fight back. A nice hold energy with the call. I think one of the big things we've noticed is that energy makes a move to stack a site like that, and 100 Thieves is on the other side having a heyday, right? We saw it on split. We've seen it a few rounds here. This time, energy are at the right place at the right time, and they bring the power down on 100 Thieves immediately. That's a big call as well for them to do that off the timeout, right? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Probably a call from Boost. It's like, hey, we keep abusing this B-side and B-side. Now we're abusing A successfully. Let's keep doing it. And now that they finally get that denied, moving back here towards B. But look at where Energy's at. Four players there. Yeah, we got a nice long B clash going down right here. So it's going to be contact or sky first. Okay, so the flash does go out. No smoke to deny it and they're gonna keep going. There's that second flash with a Dizzy and a Coop, but who's doing the EU surround? What's happening? They swept down energy, and there's only Diva left alone towards A. <laughs> no shot. It really, they can't do wrong. Just blinder than a bat, Bustio sprays with a little bit of the prey. And now it's up to Demon 1 here. Oh, they're playing with energy. TP's across, working the map once again, just like Split. Match and 100 point. Thieves are now at match point. 
God. Fans now rejoicing here in the Riot Games Arena to see a victory of 100 Thieves. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fans from Sentinels as well, hoping that 100 Thieves could close this off right here. Five chance to do it here for 100 Thieves. As that looks so good for the Thieves. All right, guys, we have ults. We have ults. We have Gekko, we have Fatal. You want to do the exec? Gekko, Fatal? We fucked them. Nice. <laughs> Uh, They're going hard. Yeah. I expect him to actually stand up after that round and cover his eyes. Yeah. He's just like, oh, everything's blind. Everything's blind. All right. Towards B. Thrash is out. They've chosen the heavy site here for the side 100 Thieves. And Marv's down already. And that, the call that was censored pretty much is for them to tempo up towards this B site. Victor Four falls. Two. There's only two players left. One Last stuck alone and one the ball. My. Up to crash. He's only with the stinger. Stuck. Pinned towards the spawn. Prowler's gonna find him, and he's just gonna try to do anything that he can. Playing at this end, three players waiting out through. And it's the inevitable at this point for Crashies. Back through the smoke, there's a molly to stop him. Too much util for 100 Thieves to fight against for Crashies. And head to head, Crow gets the pick. And 100 Thieves clean it. 2-0 versus Energy.